One of my favorite moments is when Proxima tells Scarlet Witch, He'll die alone, as will you. She's not alone. In a real, real moment of threat, there's two other women that are starting by each other. Ah. It's really great to see that the audiences are embracing really strong female superheroines. That is one of the biggest cheer moments in the film. The way the Russos work, they're willing to try different things. There was a lot of input and we could we could share how we would express ourselves, what war cries we use as Wakandans. We have another one that's more aggressive. Oh, okay, what's that one? It's Maifa. Yeah. It just means win them. Yeah. Sayifa means separate them. And they just go, ah. Ooh. You get the actors involved and of course they know their characters better than anybody. They have great uh, input. When you say it, it's the greatest Wakanda forever you've ever said, because this could be it. You know, it became like sort of the cadence of the whole set. People walking around saying, Wakanda forever. Wakanda forever! <laughs> Josh Brolin is bringing a new iconic villain to life. Thanos is a very complex character. What he's doing from his point of view is a very positive thing. He's basically an eco-terrorist, and he wants to eliminate 50% of the universe to save the other 50%. We wanted to tell a story about a character with a really complex and empathetic interior life. And there's not a lot of actors that can give you both of those things. Josh Brolin brings a reality to the character. He is wearing that mocap suit. He's wearing the motion capture cameras. The performance is coming through, not only in his gestures and his face, but in his eyes. There's about 2,900 visual effect shots in the movie. We wanted to make it as photographic as possible. And I think that that's the most important part.